hide you. You know, when my father was diagnosed with cancer, he had a tumour the size of a golf ball on his face. I prayed and I said, Jesus, what should I do about it? And the answer I got was this. He said, well, what did I do to the fig tree? I said, Lord Jesus, you cursed it and it died. And he said, go do the same to the cancer. I went and saw my dad and I prayed for my dad. I cursed that cancer on his face. I cursed it to die just like Jesus told me to do in prayer. When I did that, two days later, my father felt a sensation on his face like pins and needles, like an electric thing goes all the way around the tumour. The next thing you know, it fell off his face dead. My dad opened the back door of the house and threw it into the garden. The dog went after it and he had a little nibble on that tumour. He didn't like that. And I tell you what, he was completely healed. He had blood tests done at St Mary's Hospital at Newport on the Isle of Wight, can be confirmed medically, and he was healed of cancer. Uh, the doctor said, we don't know what's happened to you. We can't explain this. I can explain it. There's power in the name of Jesus. So I pray today for you. You're suffering from uh, any sort of cancer. I curse that cancer to die in the name of Jesus. Cancer, die. Spirits of infirmity come out in Jesus' name. And I speak health and healing and life to your body right now in the name of Jesus. Put your prayer requests in the comment section. I'll see you again. Be blessed in 